Hi guys, welcome back to Housewives 411. My name is Lindsay and this is our latest blind item that I was going to give to you guys as homework, but it's telling us so much without telling us that I think it's best that we go over it in class and break down who they're talking about. So let me just read it to you briefly so you can ponder on it for a second before I introduce. So line item number 10, this is October um, of 2023. The snack housewife might be feeling a little jealous because this reality star from multiple shows has had a very young female visiting him on set every day. They are much more than friends. Okay, so let's break this down, but before, before we do guys, make sure that you hit that like button and follow, go to my new YouTube channel, Housewives 411, check out my podcast, you know the drill guys. Show a little love and support, it's free to do just hitting the like. Okay, the snack housewife. Um, hello, if you guys have been listening to me over the last year on any of my platforms, what do I call Dorito from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? Well, her name is Dorit, but I call her Dorito. And why do I do that? Not because it's a, to be mean. It's literally a term of endearment, right? I'm always like, oh, Dorito. It's a term of endearment because Doritos are delicious. Seriously, they're delicious. Okay, so this snack housewife, so that's got to be Dorito, is feeling jealous because this reality star from multiple shows, okay? So multiple shows would mean Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and buying Beverly Hills on Netflix. Um, because this reality star from multiple shows has had a very young female visiting him on set every day. They are much more than friends. These are the types of blind items. Thank you, NT Lawyer, for posting this, by the way. You can check him out on Hollywood Days and Nights online, TikTok, he's everywhere as well. Um, love it. And secondly, I love your guys' input on these sort of things because if there is anyone, it is the Bravo community that is like, I mean, we are like Dog the Bounty Hunter. We are investigators we figure it out we get to the bottom okay and even though sometimes we can't put it out into the press we get to the bottom now this situation i think that we're talking beverly hills i definitely think we're talking about dorito and i definitely think we're talking about mauricio of course everything in this video is alleged now let me tell you something um he has been doing dancing with the stars did you know that mauricio is on dancing with the stars and i watch a freelance uh journalist on tiktok joy of everything nice guy he he is um paparazzi but he does it freelance for his tiktok so every night he's out and about in hollywood or special places like craig's and he's taking photos he's chatting and bumping elbows with the elite and the actors and actresses in the area heather dubro and terry were there the other night i saw them so um anyways he was filming at Dancing with the Stars practice because the people that are picketing, the writers that are on strike, do not feel like Dancing with the Stars is supporting their movement if they're still allowing practice to go on. Do you guys see what I'm saying? So the, like, I don't know, was it two weeks ago? Probably like a week and a half ago, we get our first clip of Mauricio coming out of his Dancing with the Stars. He talks to the um, paparazzi. He laughs about the fact that there could never be a relationship with Morgan and Kyle, and Morgan's amazing, and just a bunch of baloney, right? So then, like two days later, all of a sudden, the picketers are at, the location where they do the auditions and the practice for Dancing with the Stars. So they had to shut it down for I don't know how long. I haven't followed up on that yet, but that would make sense because he would be on set and much 
more than a friend. Uh, let me tell you guys something else. I don't like to get too messy, but this is my experience. I saw this. So when Mauricio had posted about his book, if you guys don't know, he actually wrote, it's sort of an autobiography, but not. I think that people didn't really respond well to it because we know that Rick Hilton helped give him a jump start in the real estate career. So it's hard for people to probably perceive it the way that he wants people to think. Um, he went on to tease in a pod podcast and he promoted the book. He was asked on their podcast about the relationship with Kyle. He laughed it off. He actually said, I think he didn't call them bitches, but he said it was like bitchy of the women to bring it up on the show. Kyle was working out. That's why she didn't have her ring on. And then he fed his ego in the craziest way because he said, oh, you were probably just wearing it around Teddy because you wanted to feel what it was like to have like a big, big old diamond on your hand. Were you just wearing her ring because you wanted to have a big diamond on your hand? And Teddy's like, oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I was doing. Uh -huh. No, actually, Teddy said they were walking out of like a soul cycling or a steam yoga class. And that's when Kyle didn't have her wedding ring on. That's allegedly why um, the paparazzi caught her without her her wedding ring on. Um, let me tell you. So anyways, back to my story. So he promotes the book and he goes onto Instagram and he posts it and he gets like tons of likes, tons and tons and tons of likes, thousands of comments, all of the comments, like 99.8 of the comments were like, congratulations, congratulations, you deserve it. Congratulations. Can't wait to read, wait to read, you know, over and over and over until, and now mind you, out of all of these thousands of comments, Mauricio has not responded to one. He didn't say a thank you. He didn't say, um, you know, anything. Like, by the, it, the book goes on sale, nothing. It was like he, it was, it was like he wasn't even online. Like, he didn't, wasn't acknowledging at all except for one person. There was one person who came through in his conversation under his um, book and it was a female and she said something along the line of congratulations like can't wait to see you or something maybe not so direct but you know guys how I like study people in my mind that's what she said but she said something with the congratulations that was sort of a teaser and he replied to her and she mind you guys at this point, now he's only replied to one other comment and it was like some big congressional guy who congratulated him and he said, thank you. Other than that, he did not answer one comment out of 1,200 on Instagram. He chooses to answer one to a PYT, pretty young thing. I went to her Instagram. She didn't look like a family girl if you want my opinion, and there's nothing wrong with that, but she did not look like she was selling family and um, Sunday dinners, right? <laughs> right? She was very beautiful, but I was shocked because it, I was shocked that nobody else picked up on it either. Um, this was months ago, months ago, and I talked about it on lisa's podcast nyc gal out but no one really picked up on it either but yeah he was he was he was getting ballsy about it don't forget all of the dms that bloggers were getting there would be dms from people that are like i'm in texas right now and my girlfriend just went into the bathroom with him yeah mm -hmm. it's crazy that's why kyle says um when he says mauricio says i'm glad the rumors are about you and she was said something like yeah this time or like this is the only time basically implying you know typically all of the rumors are about Mauricio we heard the rumors on the show remember that was the, the fall of Vanderpump and Kyle all right guys if you guys want more tea make sure that you stay tuned and follow